The face you make when you find out your game is gonna be shit. So if you haven't guessed already, we are going to be talking about Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I'm gonna start off the video by asking one question. What was wrong with this game? The first game. What was wrong with it? What was wrong with the second game? I personally don't like it, but I mean, what was wrong with it? Why the hell did they feel the need to make the third game the way they did? That's just, it's just, it's un, it's pointless. Why did you do that? Wow, a driving game. Good way to kill your franchise. So instead of getting your popcorn ready, get your nuts and bolts ready, and let's drive into this. Get it? Because like Banjo-Kazooie, it's a driving game, nuts and bolts, that's the whole point of it. Just watch the video. The game starts off with a nice view and cinematic. Then they show Banjo and he's fat. Yep. Banjo is fat. You walk around for a little bit and Kazooie won't shut the fuck up. You finally get to where you need to go and Gruntilda shows up with her dismembered head. You argue for a little bit before TV Head shows up and he makes you and Gruntilda race and collect coins. He then stops the race and more dialogue happens. No, no, no. It's too painful to watch. Gamers today don't want all this. They just want to shoot things. But as we're broadening the demographic, I'll have to think of something original. Wait, 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 what? This doesn't make any sense at all. It's too painful to watch? What do you mean it's too painful to watch? Your game, Nuts and Bolts, has the same exact idea as the first game. No joke, that's seriously it. Don't believe me? In Banjo-Kazooie, you collect notes by simply walking over them. In Nuts and Bolts, you do the same exact thing except you drive over them. In Banjo-Kazooie, you collect jiggies by finding or doing fun challenges. In Nuts and Bolts, you collect them by doing challenges in a car. This game is damn near the same as the first game. Except everything that people loved about the first game, you took away in this game. And the only painful thing here is playing this game. Secondly, gamers today don't want this. They just want to shoot things. Then, wouldn't you want to make a Banjo-Kazooie shooting game then? Why the hell would you make Nuts and Bolts and then add that line into Nuts and Bolts? It makes no sense. Banjo-Kazooie Bullets and Holes is way better than Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> to me, at least. And lastly, we're broadening our demographic. I'll have to think of something original. Yeah, like a beloved video game character getting his own car game is original. Anyways, more cutscenes happen, you have to do a tutorial, and finally you can play the game. <sighs> I actually have to play the game now, don't I? This game is just Banjo driving in a car. That's it. That's all it is. This game has five maps with different levels. To unlock more stages, you have to complete challenges to collect jiggies. The more jiggies you collect, the more levels and car parts you unlocked. Okay, finally we have a new map that we can unlock. Of course I run into the pole. I have to go all this way just to unlock one map. Finally, we can unlock a new map in this game. Fuck, what is this? You may be restricted to a single vehicle and shut down town, but don't let that put you off experimenting with your own best. I really don't give a fuck, honestly. Wait, no! Well, shit. Car parts are for making your own car. To get car parts, you can either buy them, collect jiggies, or find boxes scattered around the world. But the problem is most of the boxes are in the most random fucking spots ever. Okay, so there's a couple of boxes up here in this place, so I'm gonna go get them and see what's inside of them. Okay. Let's -a go! This is the wrong game, but... <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? So, I guess I need my car? Can my car drive underneath water? I don't know. We're gonna figure out. We'll figure out. This is the moment of truth. Can my car drive underneath the water and it can't? It can! Can it not? Fuck it, I'm gonna levitate it. Get your ass up there! Get up there! Oh shit, it's gonna fall. Oh no, no! Uh, get it! Save it! Fuck! Save it! And we got it. We got it. It's a fuck! All of this work and I finally got it. This is what we came for. Let's see what's inside of it. Moment of truth. I went to hell and back just to get these two crates. Uh, there's some fucking dialogue, honestly. I really don't care about it. And... We... Are you fucking kidding me? That's all I get? After you collect your parts, you can finally start building. Look, Mom! I made a block! Look at this beautiful airplane I made. I made a car that looks like a penis! When you see a girl that you think looks hot from the back, then she turns around and she's ugly as fuck. 
Let's talk about the challenges, or mini games if you want to call them that. Every time you enter a new level, there's characters from past Banjo games that you can talk to. Each character will give you a mini game to complete. If you complete it in a certain amount of time, you get a jiggy or trophy. So let's talk about the mini games. Racing. You think a game about cars has good racing, but it doesn't. The cars you're given at the start are slow, so you have to start unlocking or creating your own car, which is fine, but you're not given any car parts at the beginning, so you have to collect them yourself. There's random shit scattered throughout the race to purposely make you crash into them. The physics are weird. Crashing into objects can stop all momentum or send you flying 15 feet into the air and making it impossible to catch back up into the race. Deliver pizza. Delivering pizza to all the people who ordered. They need their pizza. Get the hell out of the way. Where the fuck is the pizza? Finally found the pizza. And I crashed. I crashed again. And I crashed yet again. This game fucking sucks. Knock down as many dominoes as you can. Again, this is a game where you need to build your own car, because no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't knock down more than 14. Defending. You know what? I'm actually really good at defending, so this one is going to be a good game mode for me. Holy shit, there's like 20 enemies on the screen. They're wrecking my fucking car. They took this motherfucker's eye off. I have PTSD now. This game sucks. The mini games suck. Did they do anything right with this game? Yes. Yes, they actually did do something right with the game. Just look at the maps. They look great, or pretty good at least in my opinion. Just add more stuff, characters, and jiggies, and take away the cars. And this game could have been great, but they didn't do that. And Nuts and Bolts will forever be the worst Banjo-Kazooie game of all time. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, give the video a like. Subscribe for more. Uh, I understand this video was really short, but uh, I promise the next video will be longer. I just couldn't pull myself to play this game. It was just so fucking bad. And I just, it, it's not good. It's not a good game. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you. Oh, shit. I lost track of fucking time. I got a game to catch. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, Girl Scouts.